common vector problem in physics, uh, talking about a box sitting on a ramp or any type of object sitting on a ramp. Now, I could get very detailed in my explanation of this to you, um, but here's what it boils down to, okay? Um, you've got this incline right here, and because of all sorts of interesting parallel lines and relationships going on there, uh, the same measure is on this angle right here. Now, what we have coming from the box, um, this triangle is created by uh, this vector right here represents the force. It's something that we call, uh, well, that's the force being applied to the box, okay? It's like somebody is standing right here, and they're holding, I'm really bad at even drawing stick figures. Good grief. There we go. They're holding the box up. They're exerting that force of 30 pounds. So if you think about this in terms of parallel lines, okay, that this is representing the force right down here. Um, now, this line that's coming straight down out of the box, that is the weight, okay? That is the weight of the box because weight is measured perpendicular to the ground, okay? So this line right here is perpendicular to the ground. Now, it's not perpendicular in this triangle, but this triangle is not aligned with the horizontal, okay? And this third line, we're not going to deal with it, but it's something called the normal force. So you don't have to recreate this scenario every single time. What you need to know is for these problems and only for these problems, um, if we look at that right triangle right there, um, F is what side in relationship to this 20 degree angle? The opposite, what side is the weight? The hypotenuse. So if we set up a trig ratio with sine, Sine of the angle is equal to the force over the weight. And again, you do not have to draw this triangle. All you have to do is memorize this situation. Uh, think alphabetical order, okay? It's sine of the angle is force over weight. F comes before W in the alphabet, okay? And then you just plug in the information, okay? So for this scenario, our angle is 20 degrees. The force is 30 pounds. The question is, what is the weight? That's what we've got to find out. Well, how do we solve this one? This is the one where we divide because the variable's on the bottom. Again, make sure you are in degree mode. Make sure your calculator has not been reset since yesterday. 30 divided by the sine of 20 degrees. And that gives us a weight of approximately 87.7 pounds. <clears throat> now you could also be asked this question from the perspective of the box weighs 120 pounds, what's the force needed to keep it from sliding down the ramp, or what's the force needed to start pushing it up the ramp, guess what, it's the same, and that's like your breaking point, okay? Um, so in that case, that would be where you would multiply know the weight you will multiply to get the force. Alright? So it really is that easy of an example. You just need to know when this is the scenario we're going to talk about a box on a ramp, it's sine of theta equals f over w solve for the force or the weight, whichever one they're asking you for. And that's it. Okay? So I want you to do